Hello ladies and gents and welcome back to yet another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links farming video today dedicated to Carly Carmine uh, who has been released in Duel Links for quite some time now and look at these glasses Jesus uh, yeah Carly looks like she's spaced out basically all the time because of these freaking glasses so <laughs> but yes she also has a uh, ace monster here so uh, today we'll be farming for her ace monster smat her ace monster just like maiden in love is also uh, cute as fuck I mean like l look at this small little Idol Master Cinderella Girl, Jesus. Fortune Fairy Harakiri Hirikari Harabimi Himibiri Hiririri Hikari Okay, finally. Nailed it, yes! But yeah, look at these small little legs, Jesus. They kinda look like matchsticks. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Yeah, it's really weird that uh, this particular monster has a game mat. Unfortunately, or fortunately, doesn't have a summoning animation, but the mat is here. Because it's uh, Carly's ace. So, her effect won't matter too much um, when we'll be farming for her mat. But you have to keep in mind that she has zero attack and zero defense. That's quite important uh, here. So we have three copies of Fortune Fairy Hikari here. So uh, yeah, we'll be um, summoning Fortune Fairy Hikari a lot in this duel. And um, we won't be summoning her the proper way. We'll be kind of cheating a bit here because we'll be using her uh, and abusing uh, the power of Ganago. So basically we'll be giving our opponent uh, Ganago via Mystic Box. And then each and every turn with all our free Idol Master Cinderella girls <laughs> will be ramming into Ganago and then Hikari will be flipped face down and then in the next turn we'll be flip summoning them all three of them and then we'll be ramming into Ganago again and so on and so forth so basically that's how we'll create our loop so this loop is kind of similar to the previous deck that I showed you when we were uh, farming for Maiden in Love uh, game mat so yeah so what else, what else? Two copies of different dimension capsules so that we can uh, get our key pieces to our hand much more faster. One copy of the Mask of Remnants, uh, which we'll be using so we are not decking out in this duel. You basically use it, it gets shuffled into your deck, then you draw it, then you use it, it gets shuffled into your deck again, and so on and so forth, you know. So. So, uh, in our previous video, we used actually the power of uh, Wonder Balloons, but here we'll be kind of replacing that power with Zero Force, because here Zero Force actually works wonders, uh, because uh, Hikari has zero attack power and zero defense power. So let's read the effect of Zero Force. Activate only when a face-up monster you control is removed from play. The attack of all face-up monsters on the field becomes zero. So it's really good here, because I will be um, placing on the field one Hikari when opponent will have all three of his masters on the field, you know, including Gango. So first we'll be kind of giving Gango to our opponent via Mystic Box. Then when his uh, field is uh, full, we'll be summoning one Hikari and then via interdimensional matter transporter we will be using it on her to banish it and then to this banish we'll be actually chaining uh, our zero force so what will happen is that okay our hickory will be banished then she'll return back to the field and because of zero force all opponents master uh, attack power will be decreased to zero <laughs> So yeah, no longer you have to worry about, you know, about Wonder Balloons, simply because uh, Wonder Balloons, yes, it's good, you decrease your uh, uh, opponent's monster attack power also, but you see the problem with Wonder Balloons that you have to kind of wait a bit, you need to have extra cards to uh, make that effect happen, but Zero Force, yeah, just achieves that goal of decreasing the attack power of enemy monsters like instantly, you know, so it's really good. 
But uh, it only works here uh, simply because uh, Hikari has zero defense. Because you see, uh, because of Ganago, they'll be kind of flipped, um, all three of these ladies. They'll be flipped face down. And uh, um, because opponent's monsters will have zero attack power, the opponent won't be able to um, run over our Hikaris. So... Next we have here three copies of Legacy of Yategarasu for additional drawing power. Uh, three copies of Jaro Greed also for additional drawing power. And uh, yeah, good goblin housekeeping for the same thing basically. And also at the end here we have uh, Graceful Tear and Luck Lace Tornado so that our opponent is not decking out. So, so I usually uh, show you how the mat kind of looks like uh, at the end of the video, but uh, you know, today let's... Uh, make an exception, let's actually show how the mat looks like at the beginning of the video. So here it is, here's our little matchstick leg lady. Yeah, it's really weird that she has a mat, but she has it, so... <laughs> so, yeah. Really a uh, cute, small little monster. So... So speaking about skills... Um, I was using her restart simply because uh, I'm using Carly here for thematic purposes today, you know, because of these uh, spicy animations and whatnot. Well, by animations I mean like voice lines when she summons Hikari, because we don't have actually a summoning animation for Hikari, unfortunately, or fortunately, I don't know. So, but yeah, I was using Restart, but uh, if you're using Carly, you can also use um, Draw Sense low level here as well. I used Restart because I think it's kind of better for this deck, but low level is good as well, but not so consistent, uh, so... But, if you're using some other character, and uh, this is what I advise you to do, you should definitely use your Draw Sense Earth, uh, so that you can fetch your uh, Ganago much more faster that way, and it will act as your shield, you know, you just place it on the board, and enemy cannot run over it, so... So yeah, that's how the deck looks like, uh, so, to farm for uh, this math, I was actually using here, um... Let's see now. Jack Atlas, for thematic purposes, you know why? But yeah, I was uh, farming uh, for this mat against Jack Atlas level 10. So... Level 20 doesn't matter here too much. Level 10, yes, uh, opponents places his monsters in attack position, but you see, because of zero force, uh, it doesn't matter, because uh, enemy um, attack power will be kind of zero anyway, you know, and our small little uh, Cinderella girls will have uh, zero attack power and defense power as well, so yeah. No one will uh, destroy anything on the board, basically, <laughs> so. Okay, and the cuteness overload is upon us once again, so let's see how the deck uh, works uh, in action here. Honestly though, when I was counting how much summons of Hikari I got, I kinda lost my count, but it was somewhere around 50 summons, like I'm not kidding. So basically two duels is all you need uh, to get the mat, pretty much, if you're lucky enough. So, as you can see our hand was pretty shitty, so we used restart, but our hand uh, is again shitty, so nothing really changed much. So we used, uh, yeah, different dimension capsule to banish Gango, to uh, get it to our hand much more faster, so to act as our shield. But if you're using Drossan's Earth, and I advise you to get the character here who uses Drossan's Earth, then, uh, yeah, you would achieve the same goal. So basically, you would fetch Gango much more faster to your hand that way. So, as you can see, our uh, small little Idol Master girls are, uh, yeah, two of them are in our hand now, so that's pretty good. So yeah, let's set Gango. Let him ram into it, like an idiot. Yeah, later on we'll be giving Ganago via Mystic Box to our opponent. So here we are activating one more capsule to banish zero force. Uh, so we can add it to our hand much more faster. As you can see, we are kind of fetching our key pieces with these capsules. So basically our important cards. So, And all these drawing cards, well, they are just needed to draw more cards, you know, so that we can uh, run through our deck uh, in uh, lightning speed. So, alright, let's draw even more cards, 
So at the end here, as you can see, we are almost out of our deck. So what we'll be doing, we'll be giving our opponent uh, via Mystic Box um, Gonna Go. As you can see, we summoned one Hirikari Lady to our field. Yeah. So our opponent's field is now full. So he rams like an idiot into our Hikari. We use our uh, Transporter to banish Hikari from the field and then chain our Zero Force to the activation of uh, Transporter to, yeah, make all opponent's monster attack power zero. <laughs> so, and then, yeah, what will happen is that we'll be just ramming into Ganago. No one will die, because everyone has zero attack power here, and zero defense power in our case. Uh, so, yeah, as you can see, opponent won't be able to run over um, our Hikaris, because they are face down, because, uh, well, we have zero defense, and opponent has zero attack power, so, yeah. So basically each and every turn we'll be kinda doing one the same thing here, just ramming into Gangogo with all our free Idol Master Cinderella girls, and then they'll be flipped face down, in the next turn we'll be flip summoning them again, face up, ramming into Gangogo again, then they'll be flipped uh, face down again, and so on and so forth. So Important here is also to give our opponent Luckless Tornado via Graceful Tear so that uh, opponent uses Luckless Tornado so he's not taking out, you know. And also, as you can see, to achieve the same goal for us, so we are not taking out, we are using our Mask of Remnants, single one which you have in our deck. We're just basically using it each and every turn, then it uh, gets shuffled back to our deck, and then we throw it again the next turn, use it again, it gets shuffled into the deck again, and so on and so forth. So, so yeah, that's how uh, the deck looks in action. Uh, it's pretty consistent deck if you are using Drossen's Earth. Uh, so yeah, and a pretty fast deck as well. <laughs> so really nice deck. So yeah, zero force here is really uh, um, good. You could replace zero force with uh, Wonder Balloons, but uh, I mentioned before what uh, problem Wonder Balloons has that it's kind of like uh, takes time to set it up, you know, and whatnot. So. But yeah, I'm just waiting here until opponent uses um, Luckless Tornado, and then I think I'll just meet you at the end um, of my duel. So yeah, somewhere around 50 summons I managed to pull off here, so it's uh, pretty good. So, Oh, and the uh, flip summoning here works for the mat, simply because um, Hirikari Lady doesn't have any specific requirements to summon her, so that's why flip summoning here uh, works, you know get the map. So, some monsters, they need some specific requirements to summon them, so there, in that case, uh, this flip summoning method uh, won't actually work. So, so let's see now. Jack? I know you are kind of spaced out by these small little ladies here, but uh, it's time to use uh, your Luckless Tornado, man. Here we go. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? <coughs> yeah, it's you, Jack. But yeah, guys, uh, see you at the end. But yeah, here comes our final turn, and uh, yeah, in this duel, uh, it actually ended in a draw, simply because uh, everyone's at zero, so no one can destroy anything, so... But yeah, guys, uh, hopefully you enjoyed uh, the deck. It's a pretty fun deck, uh, pretty fast. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. So, cheers! Happy farming!